back to my channel if you're new here my name is alana i would love you guys to hit the subscribe button down below to become part of the family but turn subscriber hi and welcome back to my so as you guys can tell my title today i'm doing a lace frontal install but this is a 13.55 t-part wig and this is a ombre lace wig and you guys i just want to say that i'm so obsessed with this hair I love how everything came out. I love the color, but I will be talking more about this hair later on in the video. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look here, just continue watching. Hey my loves, and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title today, I am doing a T-part lace wig install. And this wig was provided to me by My Shiny Wigs. So just wanna say thank you to My Shiny Wigs for sending me over this beautiful T-part wig. This is a 13 by five T-part and it is undetectable Swiss lace. 14 inches and it is ombre colored and i just want to say i love this hair you guys will hear me say that a million times in this video this hair was just so soft it was easy to work with the knots bleached very easily and i honestly have no complaints about this hair it is a t-part wig so you guys know what t-part wigs it is a little more i guess you can say easy to i guess install compared to a full lace frontal and i'm actually really starting to like t-part wig so i had no complaints with this hair i love this hair so much so you guys will like i said you guys will literally hear me say that a million times in this video but here i'm just showing you guys and just unboxing the wig from the package and i'm just showing you guys what it came with i'm just really just trying to show you guys all the specific details of this wig as of how many combs they came with what the knots look like before bleaching just basically the overall construction of this wig and it does come with an adjustable strap in the back that is detachable which i thought was so amazing because you guys know those days you don't want to use the glue on your lace you can always use a strap an adjustable strap so here i'm just bleaching my knots and you guys know how that goes i do this in all of my wig videos i use my 40 volume developer and my bw2 powder here i'm just applying that bleach all over my knots and you guys can kind of see on this t-part wig the middle parting is a little bit thicker than a lot of my other um t-part wigs that i've had so i actually really like that here i'm just showing you guys how it looked after bleaching and this took to bleaching very well and i really did love how easy this hair was to work with here I'm just plucking because with my T-part wigs, like I always stay, I always just try to get as much as a natural look as much as possible, even though it is a T-part. So there isn't really much you can pluck, but I just always try my best to just pluck as much as I can just to give me that natural look. Because you guys know with my wigs, I always love to get that snatched bomb natural scalp giving <laughs> installs okay we want our installs to be close to our real hair as much as possible okay so here i am just plucking 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 and you guys plucking takes me a very long time and i just try my best to show you guys as much as i can of plucking because it can get repetitive i mean you're just basically doing the same thing over and over again. But like I always say, my main tip with plucking is just not staying in the same spot. Because I've done that plenty of times where I've stayed in the same spot with plucking and I would literally get like a huge bald spot. And it's just the worst thing ever. So 
my main tip with plucking like i always say just don't stay in the same spot and you should be good Now moving on to the styling, I use my She Is Bomb wax stick and I do use my hot comb and this just helps me get a way flatter look than when I just use my hot comb by itself. Also the She Is Bomb wax stick also helps any flyaways that I have and it just helps maintain the hair and just gives me that sleek look which I love and I'm just styling this hair basically just parting it to where I want my hair to be because I want my middle part to be as flat as possible so i'm just using these two products here and these two products together y'all these are like the perfect duo but i did learn to not use as much wax on my wigs though because sometimes it can be a little too much and it can kind of wave the hair down so when i use my she is bomb wax stick i do try to lessen the amount of product i use so you guys will see that here i don't pass it through the hair as much as i do in my past videos so I just wanted to state that because sometimes the She Is Bomb Wax it can definitely weigh down the hair and I really don't like that. So here I am just using my hot comb and I got this from Walmart and just trying to make this as, as I guess, perfect as I can get it. Yeah, it's the lace for me. So at this point, I was so excited because this was coming together so well. I was just so happy with how everything was coming out. And I was just I was just so excited to put this hair on, y'all. Because this hair is kind of giving me, like, summer vibes, honestly. Because of the bob and the length that it is. And the color is amazing. So it's kind of giving me summertime vibes. So I was just so excited to install this hair y'all so here i'm cutting the hair and i cannot tell you guys how long <laughs> this took me i was honestly in my bathroom for hours trying to figure out how to cut it because i would definitely definitely advise using like a like a razor not like a razor but like yeah a razor i guess you can say and just kind of get like a blunt cut but I don't have a razor so I just had to use what I had so I just used these scissors and I just try to get this to be as even as possible on both sides but I just want to state that this took me hours but it honestly was well worth it because it did come out really really well so I'm just showing you guys the color up close how nice the ombre is because it goes it, it's just perfect so I'm just showing you guys up close mainly 
how everything was turning out so here i'm just installing the wig and i did do a ball cap method and i used my ghost bond glue and now i'm just applying my makeup to my cap here i'm just i guess measuring the wig to just make sure um that everything's just aligned because sometimes the wig cap can be showing so i'm just making sure everything is just kind of lined up so you guys will see me go in a couple times and cut off some extra wig cap because some pieces is kind of like peeking through so i'm just going in and cutting some extra pieces off to kind of just make sure everything is just you can't see it basically i just want everything to blend in because that's my biggest things my biggest things what that's just my biggest thing when i do these wig installs i just want everything to be melted blended because that's how everything ends up being such an amazing install so i'm just trying my best to just cut off any extra pieces because like i said some pieces were just just not working out so here i go again trying to measure the hair then i'm going in with my ghost bond glue and i got this from amazon and y'all i was running out i didn't realize like <laughs> i didn't realize i literally had no glue left in there so i was using the end of my razor to kind of just get as much as the glue out as possible because i literally had no glue left but it's okay because i ordered some more on amazon literally like the night before so it's all good because everything ended up working out perfectly So at this point, I let my glue dry and I'm just pushing the hair into the glue, making sure everything is tacky and that it's not going to move. And I'm going to use my razor again to cut off all that extra lace that we do not need. So you guys will see me doing that right here. I'm just going in, cutting as close as I can to the hairline as possible. So. So while I let my lace blend in a little more with this elastic band, I'm just going in with my flat iron, just fixing any bumps or just any pieces in my hair, just making sure everything is nice and sleek looking. So you guys will see me doing that here. And I like heat styling my hair while my edges are kind of laying down because it kind of just helps everything just lay down more and gives it more time for everything to settle in all that glue to just be able to melt and dry into your lace so that's what i'm doing here as you guys can see now i took off my elastic band and we're gonna get started on these baby hairs and y'all i'm so happy because i finally finally remembered to use my flat iron before doing my baby hairs i always say that i'm gonna do it and i never remember to do it but this time I remember to do it so you guys have seen me here using my flat iron and it honestly made a huge difference like it was just able to help train the hair kind of go in the direction you want it and it really did make it way easier so i really really love this tip i don't know who i got this from but i've been seeing people doing it all over youtube and i just had to try it and it definitely definitely makes a huge difference so if y'all don't flat iron your baby hairs before fixing them i definitely would advise doing that because it makes a huge difference it just kind of just helps the hair just glide into the hair better not glide into the hair but it just helps the baby hairs kind of swoop better into the hair which it definitely makes a huge difference and i'm so happy i remembered to do it so you guys will see me doing that here i'm just fixing my baby hairs i didn't do too much baby hairs because i really didn't want that much baby hair so i just did one at the top and i just did my sideburns i just wasn't I just didn't want to do too much baby hair so yeah i will see me doing that and later on i will talk more about this hair so i will see you guys in the next few clips
Hey guys, so this is a 13 by 5 tea part wig and this is a lace ombre. It is 14 inches. As you guys saw in the video, I did go in and cut this a little shorter because the length I wasn't really feeling. So I did cut it kind of almost like a, I guess it's a bob, I guess you could say. It's kind of like olive bone length, which I did go in and cut myself. And I'm just too obsessed with this hair. I honestly have no complaints about this hair. This hair is very soft. Even though I did run my flat iron through this hair a million times, it still took to heat very well so flowy i'm just i love this hair honestly you guys and it's the color for me i never had a wig this color so i'm just too obsessed you guys it's kind of like a blonde kind of brown i don't know it's just too cute so you guys can see it kind of goes into like a nice little ombre the wig did come like this i didn't do any dyeing bleach the knots i was about to say i didn't bleach the knots i did bleach the knots in this hair but i didn't dye it this color it literally came exactly this color I love how the ombre is nice and neat. We had other wigs in the past where the dyeing of the hair wasn't too, it just wasn't really working. But this hair, you guys can see, is dyed beautifully. Like, I'm just so obsessed. And after I cut this hair, it just became so much more flowy and just, just beautiful. I have no complaints about this hair. It's just beautiful. I'm loving this color on me. I love the blonde. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like an ashy blonde almost, which I love. I feel like it complements my skin tone a lot. And I just, I'm just so happy with this hair. So this hair is from My Shiny Wigs and they did send me over this wig. If you guys want to know more information about My Shiny Wigs, I will have all the information in the description box down below so you guys can go and get this wig. Because I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. This wig is amazing. I'm so obsessed. I just think it's so cool when they sent me this wig. It did come in this cute little packaging and it does have a little hanger on it. And I've never had a packaging like this. And I think this is just so convenient because obviously when I'm done with my wig, I can always put it back in this bag and literally like, hang it up i just thought that was so cute i've never had a wig come in a package like this so i just want to say that that was like really cute but i like that i have no complaints about this hair it took to bleaching very well you guys seen me bleach the knots earlier in the video i did pluck the hair a little bit and i did cut the hair myself um i think i did a pretty good job honestly i really really love the way this hair came out and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video and if you guys want to go get this wig all the information will be in the description box down below because I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed with this wig because this wig is just too fine to look good in it too. And I'm telling you guys, you need to go get this wig because it is a T-part wig. So that means it kind of is easier to, what's the word? Easier to install and kind of maintain compared to like a full lace frontal, which I really, before I didn't know too much about T-part wigs, but now working with them more i kind of do like t-part wigs now because they're just so easy to manage and really work with it's not too much to bleach not too much to plug you can literally keep it on your head the only bad thing is you really can only keep it in the middle part that's the only con to t-part wigs but other than that i love today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video